It's now time to talk money on the show and we have to motivate you on how to, you know, become an entrepreneur, have that passive income. Just make more money for yourself so that you are able to augment your finances and, you know, get by through the challenging um, economic times we have as a nation. And um, on Money Motivation today, we'll be looking at how to start a confectionery business. And we have with us the CEO of Stella Maris Empire and that's Stella Maris Nwaniri here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have Good you today. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. Well, Stella Maris today. Empire, right? Yeah. Yes. What is that? When you hear an empire, I mean, you're thinking <coughs> of so many things. So help exactly. Us yeah. So the name came up because there are so many things I'm interested in doing or okay. I do. Okay. But basically, like the, I would call it the breadwinner of the name mm -hmm. is confessionaries okay but i also have other things i do, do okay. but they're still like still growing because and everything came about from i would say experiences i've had and things while growing up for instance for instance i'm into like footwears uh -huh. and it came out from being you know being a big girl with a big mm -hmm. size it's okay. very hard to find a size in the market, market. Okay. so i just figured okay i mean i could make my own sandals i could make my own shoes so that's how that stuff started. started okay. And also jewelry. I'm not a jewelry person. Mm -hmm. I really don't like all this. Yeah. Your ears are saying <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. And I figured, okay, I mean, so many people out there that love jewelry but can't afford the whole, okay. how do I make it accessible to people? How do I get them to have quality? Mm -hmm. and also affordable so i mean that was what made me enter into okay. but confectionery so, is, the main thing. is the main thing and that's yes. what we're here to talk about exactly. so l l let's let's start from basics you know oftentimes we hear pastries confectionery and all of that yeah. run us through the basics what does it really entail um basically it just entails like having make cakes okay. pastries when you call it pastries mm -hmm. In the business, you know, most people won't differentiate but in pastries we talk of meat pies we talk okay. of bread we talk of um Croissants, we talk of I mini mean, pastries are just short dough snacks. Okay. Then we have cakes, we mm. have chocolates, we have ice creams, we have pizzas, you can name it. They're all under confectionaries. Okay. okay. So I meaning that's just the basic of uh, all right, you it. told us how the whole uh, shoe thing started and uh, how the other things started. So talk to us, confectionery, how did it start? Well, it started when I was very young, like okay. I said, like very young. I would be in the kitchen and cook and you know, when people come, as, as, as early as eight, nine, okay. I would cook and when people eat, they're like, wow, you, you, cook, you cook well, your food is nice. How come, where did you learn it? From mom? <laughs> or you learned alone? Uh, well... I learned from everybody, oh, okay. from my aunties, my dad, my mom. Great. So they were like, well, I mean, you cook well. So I picked the interest. I'm like, okay, I cook well. I do things. I love baking. I love, this is like an escape for me. When mm -hmm. I'm there, I'm very happy. Like, I forgot about my problems, reading. So in secondary school, junior secondary school, I decided to join the home economics department. department. Yes. Okay. But it wasn't very intense. Like, they weren't, weren't giving us the full basic mm. it was just let's just do it and pass but i still pick interest then my senior second when i left when i changed school food and nutrition then it became food and nutrition okay. like it was very intense it taught us the basics mm -hmm. you know making cakes and all these things not just by adding flour sugar yeah. and brownies no it has process it has to for it has principles it has ways it has to be done yeah. and in, in food and nutrition they taught us all that and i picked more interest i'm like wow no this thing I really love it. And when I made my cake, mm -hmm. it was so nice. Like, people loved it. They're like, oh, I love your cake. How do you make it? I'm like, oh, I make it just the way everybody does. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it made, that was how it all started for me. And I'm like, okay. But after secondary school, I'm like, oh, what do I do? When I took it, I had delay in entering university. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, what do I do while I'm waiting? Because, I mean, I can't be still holding nothing. Then I picked intro. I'm like, okay, since I have already have the passion for making cakes, making pastries, why don't I just... You know, start from yes. there. Okay. So Why your parents worried that I could distract you from the whole dream of going to the university? No, or they weren't. That they, they weren't. They are very supportive of everything, everything and anything yeah. I want okay. to do, as long as it's the right thing. Okay. And they've always been a fan of me. You know, I mean, they're my biggest fan. Mm -hmm. When I make they love, food, they they love my food, they love my food exactly. Uh -huh. When I make cakes, they are. I mean, they're the ones that finish it. Okay. <laughs> they are the ones that move, push people. Oh, my daughter makes this. You should patronize her and all. 
and starting was very rough honestly okay. in every okay. business it's always rough yeah. you know when you have customers you're trying to please them, them yeah Forgetting, okay, I mean, it's money I'm going to use to make this. <laughs> You're trying to please the customers and you end up displeasing yourself. And, and they will still be 100% satisfied. I don't know, you know, it was very hard. Like, I learned it very hard starting from this video. At one point, I'm like, oh, I don't think I, but I got discouraged because. Can you tell us the major challenges, really, if you can even paint a scenario or something? Okay, um, for instance, I had this customer that wanted me to make um, cake. And her budget, what she wanted was something that would cost more than what she was budgeting for. Okay. And because she was someone I knew, I said, okay, maybe I could do something for her. I was like, okay, bring, bring what you have out. And when she did, when I was, and already, you know, we've agreed, you've agreed. Yeah. You cannot go back on your words, uh -huh. especially when you started, just have to finish it. So I got to a point I was stuck because, man, I couldn't finish this project for yeah. her. And I'm like, what do I do? What do I tell her? I got, I, was, I just had no other option but to take from my own pocket, just yeah. finish to that finish cake for that. her. And I delivered. And I was like, look, ma, I'm so sorry. But the budget you brought was so uh -huh. small. I can't do this. Next time, I would give you what I can do for, for you. you. But this one, I just did it because I'd already made the mistake okay. of accepting the job. So nowadays, I don't, like, if you can't afford, if you can't afford what you want, mm -hmm. I would also give you alternative. Okay, can you go for this? Basically, it's also go good. Okay. If we don't agree, then I won't take the job. I mean, I can't do that. This is myself. With the economy nowadays, like, exactly. things are going That's up every lesson. day. Yes. Uh -huh. Things are going up every day. You see people come to tell you, oh, I need a cake for 5000 I'm like, I'm not cakes and creams. I don't make him. I don't make him <laughs> batches. Uh, otherwise, let, let, let's look at you know um, learning the ropes. You talked about okay, starting from secondary school, you had um, yeah. the, the privilege of learning in school. But uh, at some point, you had to fine tune uh, you know the, the skill uh, mm -hmm. in, in an institution. Yes. Okay. Talk to us about that. Well, the, okay. In terms of the duration and the cost. Oh, okay. Um. Well, my uncle. Let me start from there because my uncle saw the interest. I'm like, oh, okay. do you really like this thing? Yeah. Why don't you go to a school somewhere that is more professional and okay. all? And at that point, I was already processing my like s my schooling. Yeah. So I was like, I can't really go to a very very professional school mm -hmm. because it would take away like a year, two years, oh. and I won't be able to go to school. But I can go to a, a semi like professional yeah. school. And get like a diploma. Or something. Yes. Yeah. A certificate or something while I'm still going to school. Okay. So I ended up going to the um I learned in um in a in an institution. In an institution, okay. yes. How it's many registered months? for eight months. Wow. That's yes. a lot. Wait, eight months <laughs> like to learn virtually all the ropes like they are funny enough, I didn't even finish. Because oh. they are I mean you can you don't learn you don't learn you learn every day, I mean. Every day, okay. So okay. You, you mean learning these things what what exactly did you learn? Did you learn like you learn all the pastries, you learn I mean, I learned all the pastries, I learned the basic basic. When oh. you say basic what When I say basic I learned that measurements mm -hmm. okay. matters. Yes. Okay. In secondary school they didn't teach that. Mm -hmm. They just teach okay, you take two cups of this. But I learned that it matters. If you don't measure accurately, accurately, you won't get the results you want. Because I figured, okay, I taste cakes that are made by professionals and they are so, like, mm -hmm. so I want mine so to be like this. How yeah. do I do that? And I, when I keep trying, like, what I learned from school, I wasn't getting that result. that result. But when I went to the institution, she was like, you do it, that the process, okay. the time. Wait, like, for instance, you're making cake, you have a mix. You get a very hard dough. Yeah. Oh, there's over mixing. Yes, yes there's over mixing. You under mask. And that makes the cake. Mix, yeah. You get semi done cakes. Uh -huh. okay. You put it in a very hot oven. The cake doesn't rise. Uh -huh. You put it in a very low oven. It is. It doesn't come out well. So all these things I learned. That temperature matters. How you mix matters. The quantity you use matters. The quality of. Sometimes you might use KM eggs that are still. And you don't get what you want. How would you even know that if the eggs are still or not? Except you go for the ones that have dates on them. No, yeah. I mean there, there are ways you can yeah. know that they're fresh. For instance, if you don't have, you just know that okay. If you have a supplier that you know okay. gets mm -hmm. fresh eggs, you go there. But if you don't, there's a pr there's a method you use like in you know, cold water. There's a way you mm -hmm. put the egg in cold water. If it's, it's floating, floating, yeah, it is. But if it's not, then it's, the egg is not fresh.
Okay. So that's how, how much did that cost you? I mean, the eight months. Um, to um it cost about hundred and fifty then. Oh, that, that expensive. Uh, yes. How many years? And that's, that's just that's for like the basic. You know, the basic. I mean, how you still spend money buying flights. You still spend money buying things to do your practical. Equipment. Okay. So it's it's but quite, Sorry, quite, quite so a for, lot. Yeah. For someone who is about to start, you know. Um, you already said it cost 150 back then so now how much would it cost and for the other things you need you know to start maybe the fly you talked about and some other things we need to buy like how much will all that cost well right now it's going to cost a lot you'll be spending up to three hundred thousand. and very important you need you need your i would for you to, for, for people are about to start i would mm -hmm. say okay get the machine. machine okay. I didn't start with the machine. Okay. I started with the hand mixer. Yeah. I think right now getting uh, get a hand mixer has cost about ten, twenty thousand. Thousand thereabouts. Okay. And to go to a school where you would learn well mm -hmm. for that long period, you'll be paying up to like two fifty. Thereabouts. I mean two fifty is small. I mean um schools now collect just maybe three weeks intensive mm -hmm. training, they collect two fifty thousand. Uh, yeah. So I mean you'll be spending quite a, quite lot. a lot. Okay. Uh, to let's talk about you know um the the recipe now because um you know with confectionery pastries even with catering like food generally it's almost like the ingredients are the same you know but there's always that recipe that makes you know one makes the difference uh, that makes the difference in that sense mm -hmm. so i mean that those who tell you oh there's no differences still the same ingredients you use in making ice cream or making cakes and all of that mm -hmm. What makes your own, you know, um, confectionery stand out in terms of how do you go about it? I know you said measurements is key earlier, but is there something extra that I, I'm not saying divulge the, you know, secret recipe, but how do you just go about it to ensure that your own confectionery stand out? I mean, I would, I, would focus, I focus on my taste. Okay. okay. I focus on texture. I focus, mm. I focus on also what people want. I go with what people, people want. want. Okay. That's how you that's how mine stand out. I don't just do what I want to do. Okay. I okay. What do you want? For instance, you want to order a cake. What do you want? Because I have a sweet tooth. That I say, I love food. I love good food. Okay. So I want to give you something that is of good quality. So first of all, I want what do you want? What do you prefer? Yeah. Then I make my own suggestion. Okay, you can do this and do this. And I'm someone that like like to mix. Because I'm a biochemist, so oh. Oh. how about okay. this? <laughs> they make good cooks, actually. <laughs> they do. So I really have this idea of, okay, you can mix this and this yes. and get uh -huh. this. So when it comes to flavors, I'm always like, okay, I mean, if you want something unique, you want a unique taste, mm -hmm. you could also like something savory, mm -hmm. something sweet. You join them together, you yeah, have this wow, wow taste. taste. Okay. So that's how I go about mine. I mean, I just use the whole chemistry thing and like mix. That, that, that's nice. Do, do you train? For now, I don't, okay. but that's something I'm working towards. Cause I, I don't physically have a, a shop right now, okay. so I do everything in my house. Okay. So I really don't have that space to train, train people. people. But it's something I'm working towards doing. Okay. So yeah. wanting to get a space is not necessarily because of the business, it's because of training. Because yes. I mean, do you necessarily need a studio or a shop no. to do that? To train? No, not to train. To no, I don't. Okay. Okay. I don't. So, t talking about training, in other words, you would advocate for on hand, you know, training as against online and all of yes, that. Yes, I would. Because some I did, I tried that online thing, mm -hmm. and I wasn't getting the, the, the right. Yes, because I'm the type of person I need to see what you're doing. Because when I was learning, I was seeing what she was doing. Like I was seeing how she was yeah. mixing. You can't. When I want to decorate, mm -hmm. you can't. I can't be seeing online how. She, when I was learning, she would say, okay, put your hand like this. Yes, okay. But when you see it on the, when you see it online, you yes. just see them drawing. Mm -hmm. Or you just draw this and get this. I want to see the technique okay. you used in doing that. So I prefer an like ongoing training and an online training. training. Okay. And online training is good for maybe giving recipes. Okay. Giving recipes, but to actually see how it's done. I need to see so like what you're doing. Okay. So I prefer an ongoing so training. For someone who is um, interested in this line of business, what, what would be your tips, you know, pieces of advice for the person? Let, let's take it that the person starts in as a novice completely. I mean, for I'll start with let it just be something you really want to do. Okay. And let it not be that it's because of money. Okay. Honestly, it, because if because of money, <laughs> you won't see the money. Okay. Honestly, all, you won't see the money later. Later. Okay. <laughs> okay. And to be honest, with the businesses like this, eh, uh -huh. you don't see money doing it. You see money when it comes to training people. Okay. So I would just say, just let it be something you love, something you really want to do. 
Uh -huh. That's the only thing that would drive you because you would be frustrated. You would cry because you wouldn't be seeing the game you want to see, especially when it's not a big. Yeah, when you're just starting. When you're just starting, exactly. So you would experience. Just let it be your passion. That's the only thing that would save you from the whole heartache. What will be the advice on how to attract customers and you know form a from um, a, a reliable brand? Just be available. Be trustworthy. Okay. And communicate better okay and don't be afraid afraid of what afraid of speaking your mind okay, okay. telling people how it is don't be afraid because i mean i had that experience i was so scared i mean okay. i was tell you okay, bring things. i was so scared to say it because you felt you were overcharging yes i thought i was overcharging okay. but i wasn't and you didn't want to scare them anymore. yes I, I didn't want to scare them I mean, don't be afraid just be bold this is what i can do for you and do it that is just how, that's the only way you can get customers that will be okay. No, for, apart from she's pricey, mm -hmm. that much, well, I would say, but she's trustworthy and she will deliver. Okay. I'll I guess one. that's okay. okay. F finally, the, okay. The, the question will be, um, you know, yes, this can be done as a passive income quite all right. Mm -hmm. For someone who wants to do this on a full-time basis and the person isn't as the big brands, like, you know, that we know of, um, what would be the, you know, um, advice as well and, you know, how lucrative would that be for the person? I mean, everybody starts somewhere. Okay. Everybody starts somewhere. So, I mean, sh if, if you want to start, I mean, just start from where you can start from. Okay. And if you have people that would support you financially, it's also going to help, like, push it forward. But, I mean, you can't tell. Just start. The most important thing is just start. Just start. Okay. Anyhow you want to do, just start. All right. It could be, just be from doing cookies. Just start. Okay. And you will be surprised how in the next two, six months, you see people calling you, oh, I need this, I need that. I need, can you do this? Can you do that? And you just go from there. All right, thank you so much, Stella Maris. Yeah, that's a Stella Maris so Empire. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on the show and for sharing. Thank you for much. having me. Thank you very much. I really appreciate being here. All right, so wrap up the show now. We'll take out the quote by Lady Gaga. And Lady Gaga says, Do not allow people to dim your shine because they are blinded. Tell them to put some sunglasses on, just like Stella Maris is putting some on. Yes. Maybe not sunglasses, <laughs> but she's putting some on. Anyway, that's, that's quite instructive, something that a lot of us have uh, to always remember. There are those who probably would make you feel bad for being amazing, uh, and that's because somehow, you know, you're judging them. You're, you're not intentionally judging them, but the fact that they see your excellence, your mm -hmm. excellence judges them, and, you know, that's why they always make you feel like what you're doing is bad or is wrong. But, well, hey, yeah. tell them to dim their shine by wearing <laughs> so to dim their uh, focus by wearing sunglasses exactly, exactly. while you keep your shine on the, the most basic thing is you, you shouldn't at any point in time underestimate yourself always believe that you can you know break barriers and keep going there will be hurdles quite all right but it's all about the belief and that's where self-confidence comes in absolutely yeah well many thanks to you for joining us today on i brand day break yeah. my name is perpetual fasami peter bye for now i'm samson the lady do have a great day